Armadillo is a town located near the center of New Austin. It's a town that you probably don't end up exploring much at all since it only unlocks near the end of the story in the game. Take a walk through it and you'll notice that some disease is plaguing the town. Sick people and dead bodies are everywhere. You'll notice posters outside of buildings that mention a cholera outbreak. And cholera is an infectious and often fatal bacterial disease of the small intestine typically contracted from infected water supplies and causing severe vomiting and diarrhea. Uh, most people would just leave it there, you know, it's just a cholera outbreak, but if you look into it deeper, you'll end up discovering that the town might actually be cursed by the devil himself. If you walk into the store in town, you'll notice the only man in the entire town who's not become sickly like everyone else. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. It's just a little portrait somebody gave me once. I always quite liked it. Why? No reason. Just seemed familiar. Anyway. <sighs> Alright, let, let me, me know see. if you need me to read something. This is a no admittance area. You have to go back. Move, you long streak of piss. So, Herbert Moon here is clearly the only person alive, and he's got a picture of a strange looking man behind him that uh, John will end up recognizing and asking about. You'll probably ask yourself why the only healthy person in the entire town is the shop owner here, so the strange man in the picture behind him might have something to do with it. If you end up killing the shop owner, you'll realize that he doesn't particularly like the fact that his daughter is associating herself with another particular type of person. The note goes as follows. Letter to Herbert from Herberta. Papa, I know you do not like Isaac and I cannot bear that I have sullied your bloodline as you put it, but I beg you to not cut me off as a daughter. I love and respect you, but I also love my husband. Even though you consider the cause of blood and the selling of groceries to be the purest and best of callings, I feel called to a different path. Isaac and I are dedicating ourselves to helping the poor. I am sure your God will hate me for marrying a Jew but Isaac is a good man. Whatever you may think, O oh Papa, I pray for you to the God you believe must hate me, and that he, in his infinite wisdom, can make you see that I am not the sinner you believe me to be. Either way, I love you, and hope you will forgive me for this unpardonable sin, and come and see your grandchild when it arrives. Your daughter, Herberta Solomons. This probably indicates a thing or two about Herbert Moon here. If you go here to this part of the world, you'll find a man in a camp that can give you some more insight into the town and who the strange man is. Hello. Okay there. Sit a spell if you're inclined. So, not sure you passed through Armadillo at all. <laughs> Place like hell on earth these days. Used to be quite a nice little town too. Now it's just dust storms and disease and death. They take into burning bodies because they can't bury them fast enough. I mean, when you see it, it really feels like something biblical. <laughs> and I ain't a religious man. Hmm. Really, it's a sight to behold. I certainly ain't never read the Bible on account of me not reading and all, but for a place to turn like that, so bad and so fast, you can't help but thinking, this can't be of natural causes. Folk there are calling it a curse. And I ain't a superstitious man, but it's hard not to see it any other way. They are saying this figure appears sometimes there in the distance. Black suit and big top hat, then disappears. Shadowy, like he ain't of this mortal realm. Mm -hmm. The Reaper and his Sunday best. Maybe they're being punished uh, for sins or something, I don't know. I got enough sins on my tally to figure I'm gonna stay well away from there. And I ain't a betting man, but I put my money on this. Way things are, won't be long before Tumbleweed is the only town left in these parts, and there won't be nothing in Armadillo but ghosts. Well, while I still got my health, guess I should get some work done. We met before? Something about you is dang familiar. Me? No, I don't think so. I just look like a lot of people. Oh, no. 
I ain't getting caught up in this mess. A lot of you might not remember the strange man from the first Red Dead Redemption. In fact, some of you might have not even played the game. So, before I show you this footage from RDR1, all you need to know is that he was a character in some of the side missions from the first Hello, game. John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl, until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves Landing. I think he's gonna be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed. What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Welcome to Nuevo Pariso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? The road's full of thieves. Either that or robber yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Ain't this a beautiful spot? Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you from Mexico, I know you from back out west. Well, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. Clearly, this man is not of this world. In fact, some would argue that he's not even a man. Some might call him Death, or Satan, or even God. But ultimately, we have no clue who he is, or what he is. Bullets clearly go through him, so we have no clue. What does he have to do with Herbert Moon, and why is he framed in a picture behind him? Uh, that is another question. If we explore a bit further into the strange man, we'll find out that his shack is in the swamp region of the game. You can walk inside, and you'll notice this bizarre room full of what appears to be ritualistic stuff. You'll see an unfinished painting of something in front of you, among other various suspicious things around the room as well. You'll notice your spirit animal on paintings, so if you have like low honor, you'll have a coyote or a wolf, and if you have high honor, you might have an eagle or a buck on some of the paintings. One of the strange things you'll notice in the room is the fact that a piece of writing on a desk indicates the happenings of one of the missions from uh, the earlier stages of the story. 
I don't know why this particular poem sits here, but it is interesting nonetheless. And it reads as follows. Uh, there was a man called Jimmy Brooks who was always running into crooks till one chased him down and he had to talk his way around. That Jimmy isn't as dumb as he looks. And this poem actually changes depending on if you killed the guy or if you let him live. So again, I don't know why this is, you know, here, the specific thing. But if you come back to the cabin later on, you'll notice that uh, the painting slowly progresses and you'll see like the shape of a man starting to form. Uh, you'll end up seeing the strange man in it after you come back a third time. You'll also notice the strange man standing literally behind you in the mirror at the corner of the room. And if you come back the fourth and final time, you'll notice the painting disappears. All of this is pretty spooky, but among all the strange things you'll notice in this room, and all the writings on the walls, I think the most interesting thing you'll notice is the fact that there's a map of Armadillo right there on a table with the words etched into it. I offered you happiness, or two generations, you made your choice. So I'm not really sure what that means, but it might have something to do with the strange man working in cahoots with Herbert Moon. One of the movies you can watch in the town of Valentine contains an image of what we can clearly see being the strange man driving a casket with some sort of like an engine powered by, you know, a demon or the devil or something. So clearly the strange man is not an entity of good. Clearly he has something to do with the devil or evil itself. My theory here is that Herbert Moon met with the strange man sometime and then maybe they made some sort of a pact between each other. Perhaps it had something to do with his daughter not marrying someone he liked. Maybe he made a deal with the devil and signed a contract so that the town around him could become diseased and sickly just so his daughter might not marry a man he thought was unworthy of being with his daughter. So maybe Herbert Moon made this deal with the devil or maybe Herbert Moon is the victim of the strange man's wrath. For all we know, the strange man could be making Herbert Moon suffer by not giving him any customers to actually buy any of his inventory because of, you know, Herbert Moon's hate. It, it would mean killing the entire town to punish a single man, but, I mean, hey, we're talking about the devil here, so this could be a very likely solution uh, to the curse of the town here. I think that the town of Armadillo is definitely cursed by the hand of the strange man. However, I don't know if the strange man is the devil himself or just the tool of the devil, meaning Maybe the strange man is death himself, or the reaper disguised as a regular man. You can't shoot or kill the strange man, so it's pretty clear that he isn't human. Uh, the town of Armadillo is cursed in Red Dead Redemption 2. Not a surprise, considering everything else in the game seems to be cursed as well. Plenty of curses to go around, I guess. So that's going to be it for the video here. Uh, the mystery of Armadillo isn't necessarily fully solved. But we know that the strange man has something to do with the cholera outbreak plaguing everything here. So let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Maybe you have some input about all of this that you'd like to share with us. But other than that, that's going to be it. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But uh, that's going to be it. See you in the next one.